Welcome back to fans, Lazy Gamer here. So I have covered this before on my channel a few times, but I'm going to cover it one more time. The last time I asked for a way to make the script flexible so that you don't need to copy it each time you want to make a new door. And while no one really reached out directly to my channel with some assistance from a commenter called Calibrax, I have figured out a way to solve it. Let's get started. So let's look at the actual script, shall we? Uh, it's down here. Script, central split door. I put in three integers. Door tag, door speed, and door height. Now, the ceiling lower and raised by value has three um, values in them, a tag, a speed, and a height. So, if each of these is a variable, as in I set that in uh, in game or in in map like we set breaking glass or breaking mirror for instance uh, we can use this uh, several times so we don't need to copy the script like we also had to do with the breaking glass script before Negran changed it anyway that's really how it works I'm not sure even if I need terminate, but uh, this is an old script, so it doesn't hurt, so. Let it be. Let's remove it. You can always put it back. Um. So let's now see how it is. We have to set up a door, of course. And as you can see, it is split in two there. You can see it because the um, texture is so, but if we go into uh, here, you can see it's the height outside or on each side is 80 and we split it in two so it's 40 here this is 100 so this is split into 50 the door should always be divisible by a whole number <laughs> as it were and then we only need to give the line def online action uh, uh, script execute find the central split door like so repeatable if that's what you want and some form of trigger it can be projectile impact bump whatever but the press use is normal now we need to add a few um, or fill in the variables of door tag, door speed and door height. It has a tag of 19 so because I set that up already. You should know how to give a sector a tag by now. Door speed, let's say 16. And the door height, I need, I want it to move. Well, each section is 40, but I want a lip, so 37. It, it, it should uh, have some bits sticking out. Now, if you want to, we can also, although I already have done that, 
go into sector mode because normally they'll, this will have um, have a door sound of um, lift I think as a standard if you go in here and change it let's go to uh, door normal for now if I can find it door stone door normal and then do we need a new script to do this one no since the since all the variables are interchangeable we have to give of course the script this is a tag of 22 because we have that there door speed Hmm. What is if I say thirty-two, and the height is uh, forty-seven, since fifty is the height of each one. Now, there is one thing though: you cannot open the same door at the same time, and I'm not sure why you would. But uh, since the script is activated by this one, for instance, we can't open this until this finishes because this occupies the script. But that's not really a big, um, big thing. And I'm not sure why you would there are listings of uh, people having different heights for their um, split door. So uh, the top part is 30 and the bottom is 50, for instance. So they have different lengths to open. You can't use uh, my script to do that. This is just a central split door so uh, you have to find some other script if you want to do that there is a is a bonus script in my in the download that as far as i know can do that but uh, but whatever Let's go and uh, check this out. But in the meantime, this has been your host, the Lazy Gamer. Logging off. Bye, guys. <laughs>